Hello little lambs, I am teacher Susie here with Wooly Lamb. Bah! We really miss you. Hopefully we'll get to see you guys soon. Today we want to talk to you about helping out our families by helping out around the house. And that means cleaning up. There are different things we can do to help clean up. We can pick up trash. We can dust. We can spray down tables and counters and wipe them down. We can even sweep, mop, fold laundry, and help put it away. There are many things we can do. You know, it's really easy to make messes, but we have to learn to clean up after ourselves. And I have a song that I want to share with you so that while you help clean or help do chores with your family, you can sing this song and it will definitely make Jesus smile. Here it is. We are little helpers, helpers, helpers. We are little helpers, helping all the day. We are little helpers, helpers, helpers. We are little helpers, pleasing Jesus that way. All right, yay. All right, now I have a book. It is called, It's Not My Job. And we're gonna find out what happens when everybody in the house says no to cleaning up and taking out the trash. Once there was a new family who bought a beautiful new home. They were so proud when they moved in. Everything was fresh and clean. Mom bought lovely matching trash cans for every room. By the end of the week, all the trash cans were full. Looks like it's getting to be quite a mess. Will somebody please take out the trash, asked Mom. It's not my job, said Dad. It's not my job, said Brother. It's not my job, said Sister. Well, it's certainly not my job, said Mom. And the baby couldn't, so nobody took out the trash. By the end of the second week, the trash cans were overflowing. Can't somebody take out the trash? asked Dad. It's not my job, said Mom. It's not my job, said Sister. It's not my job, said Brother. Well, it's certainly not my job, said Dad. And the baby couldn't, so nobody took out the trash. By the end of the third week, the trash cans couldn't even be seen anymore and it was getting hard to get around. Look at how full that's getting. Can't somebody take out the trash, asked brother. It's not my job, said dad. It's not my job, said mom. It's not my job, said sister. Well, it's certainly not my job, said brother, and the baby couldn't, so nobody took out the trash. It's starting to look pretty full in that house. By the end of the fourth week, the trash had nearly filled the house and it was getting hard to watch TV. Can't somebody take out the trash? Asked sister. That's looking to be a really big problem. It's not my job, said dad. It's not my job, said mom. It's not my job, said brother. Well, it's certainly not my job, said sister. And the baby couldn't, so nobody took out the trash. By the end of the fifth week, the trash was coming out the windows and filling up the yard. That's pretty bad. This is embarrassing, said Dad. What will the neighbors think, said Mom. I can't find the TV, said Brother. Where's the baby, asked Sister. That does it, they all yelled together. This is everybody's job. So they all went to work and cleaned up the trash. And they were so glad to find the baby. Now everybody takes out the trash whenever it needs taking out. The end. So, if we've learned anything, it's really important to help clean up. It keeps us tidy and clean and keeps the messes down. And it's even better if we can all pitch in and help together because it makes the jobs go faster. I have a verse for you. 1 Timothy 3, 5. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? 
Hmm. So remember, boys and girls, it's always good to clean up after ourselves. That way nobody has to do it for us. Okay, I have an activity for you this week. What I would like you to do right now is to practice a chore. You can pause the video right now, find something to do, whether it's picking up laundry off the floor, maybe there's a piece of trash that fell on the floor, uh, maybe it's brushing the cat or the dog, whatever you'd like to do, pause the video and go and practice it right now. All right. Now, what I'd like you to do is pick a chore to practice for six days. Make a chart and you can then put stickers on it whenever you've completed each day. Once you've done those six days, I'd like you to take a picture of it and submit it. Make sure you upload it onto the Google Drive. That's it for now. Um, had a fun time and I hope you enjoy cleaning up. Bye.